everyone, I'm Brian Corsetti with Deadline.com here with our international editor, Nancy Tartaglione. We are jumping right into the topic that has been going on uh, for the last year, a, a scandal, so to speak, with News Corp and the reporters basically tapping into politicians and celebrities' cell phones. Nancy, what, what's, what's the update? Well, the most recent update, I guess, would be that there are going to be criminal proceedings that start a year from, well, a year from last month, a year from September. A number of people have been arrested, uh, charged. It's all still alleged. Now, how much of an impact is this scandal happening with News Corp and the operations and the shares and all that kind of stuff as a business? Well, the company uh, a couple of months ago said it was going to split into two separate entities, a, a media TV entity on one side and then having the publishing division on the other side. And that's something that shareholders wanted uh, for a long time and so they reacted very positively. And the idea of doing that is to spin out the kind of tainted sure. assets, which are the UK print assets. It allows Murdoch to, in a way, remove his name from what's happening in the UK and then contain what's happening in the UK in the UK. James Murdoch, his son, has been getting a lot of flack uh, kind of around that topic. Uh, do you think he is ready for prime time in America? You know, it's funny because they sort of, there's this idea that he may become the person who's going to run the television channels in America, everything except Fox News. Um, and the thing is, he's actually quite an accomplished TV executive. The problem, I think it was perhaps wrongheaded to put him in charge of the newspapers. His father is the one with right. newspaper ink running right. through his veins. James isn't really necessarily a newspaper guy, and he was running the, the, the UK press arm, and that's where the problems were. He w has been a very successful executive at B Sky B, which is the biggest yeah. satcaster in, in the UK, in an incredibly successful company, and he's, he's been credited with making that company the success that it is. And even his sister, Elizabeth Murdoch, recently gave a speech saying she had no ambitions to run the company. I mean, I'm talking about the big, big company, sure. News Corp as a whole. And she said, you know, even within the family, we, we all kind of feel that James is a very able executive. Why is this a bigger deal in England? We obviously know it took place in Europe and in England, stuff like that. But, but why? Uh, why is it bigger over there and how does that affect Americans? Well, it's bigger because where the alleged phone hacking and all of these kinds of things happened were in, in the UK. There was a, a broadsheet called the News of the World, which is a tabloid paper, very, very big circulation. And journalists there are suspected of having just gone into all and sundry cell phone uh, records and uh, messages, you know, voicemail and whatnot. There was a girl, a young girl who was missing um, named Millie Dowler and she went missing and whilst her parents didn't know if she was alive, if she, you know, what was going on, apparently journalists at the News of the World hacked into her messages. The family then found that her phone had been used, so they were led to believe, well, her phone had been used, so maybe she's still alive. Oh, wow. And it was a, you know, incredibly horrible false sure. hope situation. And that was the thing that really kicked it off last July, well, July 2011, that really, and that brings the entire British public into it. So uh, the trials are going to start next September 2013. Yeah. And, 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 the, and the criminal trial. The criminal trial, and then they're going to get to the nuts and bolts of how everything, you know, it, this alleged yeah. story is going to take place. How is that going to affect the bigger uh, English, you know, the, the England newspapers. The newspapers. Murdoch recently spoke, Rupert recently spoke in Australia uh, where he has newspapers as well and he was speaking to, at an award ceremony and kind of reiterating his, his belief in, in newspapers. There's been talk that the papers will be spun off into a trust and might be easier to sell that way. Murdoch's resigned from the boards of those, uh, oh, so he has of resigned. those papers. Yeah, but again, it's about removing the Murdoch name so that Perhaps they're easier to sell in the future. Will the scandals permanently change the political climate in England between the journalists and the politicians? Undoubtedly. Murdoch will never regain, I mean, this is me saying this, but this is what everyone sure. is saying, analysts, etc., that he's, his political clout uh, will, won't come back. And, and that's, you know, it, the papers, unlike in America, they're very partisan. And the support of a tabloid like The Sun or The News of the World can really hold sway with the public. Well, there you have it. Uh, Nancy, our international editor at Deadline. Thanks for watching, guys. For more on this story, check out Deadline.com. Take care.